Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison here. And as you probably know, I took all of the maths A-level exams alongside students in the summer of 2024. And I was very pleased with my mark. I got 299 out of 300. So I wanna very quickly in this video prove it to you and show you where I lost that mark. Now I can't share the actual questions just yet because these papers are officially locked on the Edexcel website, but later on in the year, I can go through them in a bit more detail. So you can see in this first paper, 100 out of 100, very happy with that. This though was where I dropped the mark in the second pure paper. And just to prove it to you, I've got the statistics paper here with 50 marks and also the mechanics paper. Now, where do you think I've dropped this mark in the pure paper? Well, I knew where I was gonna lose this mark because it was one of the worded questions. I just find it so hard to know exactly what the examiner wants to see. So it was from this pure paper two, and the first part of the question was about exponential modeling for the world human population. They gave us data from 2004 to 2007, and we needed to make a prediction about 2030 for part C. I lost the mark in part D, where we had to say if that answer was reliable. This is what I wrote. As the model is only based on data from 2004 to 2007, it is not reliable to predict outside this range extrapolation as the data may not fit the same trend. The answer is likely therefore to be unreliable. You can see I sort of write as much detail as I can, but it still didn't work. I still did not get this mark. This is because in the mark scheme, they were looking for it to be something like in 2030, it's not good or it's not good a model because in 2030, it is a long way from 2004 to 2007. They are not bothered about the word extrapolation. They wanted me to have stated that 2030 was far away from that range. I don't know. I was kind of annoyed I didn't get this mark. I wonder how many of you guys did get this. Maybe you wrote things in a better way than I did. And I wanted to share this with you really just to show it's very easy to make mistakes in these kinds of things. And for me, it's always the worded kind of stuff. I hope that all of your studies are going really well. If you'd like me to go through some of the further maths ones, I'll probably wait until I can go through the details of the scripts with it so I can actually share the questions with you. Um, and there's a lot more for me to delve into with that one. Anyway, hope things have been good with you guys and I will see you in another video soon.